Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee Show. Excuse me, just finishing up my breakfast, drinking my coffee. Just black, of course. Gonna get down and light up a pipe. And then we're gonna light them up. These cups are for sale, these coffee mugs. Uh, trying to figure out a way to get them reduced. I'm waiting for them to get back to me to get the price reduced on them. Uh, so I'm working on that. But uh, before we get started, hey, listen, if you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, in the description box below, just tap the arrow next to the, right below the, the screen. It'll drop down. It'll show a description box. That's the link to my Twitter feed and my Instagram feed. You're more than welcome to come over there. Follow me on there. Sometimes I put stuff on there that I don't, you know, put anywhere else. So, but I'd be more than happy to have you follow me. Got a day off today. Another day off. It's just getting ridiculous. It's getting too slow. I don't like it. It's slower than it's ever been uh, since I've been driving truck, and I'm not not a big fan. So, but uh, got some things to do today. Got a package to mail out. Got some stuff I got to take care of, and. When you're not busy, you find things to do and you do them. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work out today too. Today's my workout day, one of my days to work out. And I don't work out, I'm not mad. I don't, you know, I'm not madly extreme on my workouts. I don't go to the gym and pump iron for two, three hours, run on the treadmill for 45 minutes. I do everything I do, I do in home. I have thumbbells here. I have resistance bands. I have, uh, uh, I call it a medicine ball, um, exercise ball, whatever you call it, kettle balls. I do everything here. I don't need to go to the gym to get in shape. I don't need to pay somebody else money to get in shape. I can do it all here and I'm doing it. I'm losing the weight. I'm getting in shape. I am sleeping through the night without waking up once once that has been happening to me since i've dropped 14 pounds almost 15 pounds losing weight is the key for me is the key for a lot of issues with people's problems i do stretches every day stretching is a form of exercise it will make you sweat it will make you burn fat it's proven if our muscles and fascia are not lengthened and loosened we are more prone to injury just from simply bending over we can tweak our back we can uh, pull a hamstring from walking from walking if we are not properly lengthened and loosened with our muscles so it is important and for a guy of my age of 50 it's important to stay in shape so those of you that are in your late 30s, getting into your 40s and working your way into your 50s, or you're in your 50s and above, listen, stretching, stretch, stretch, stretch. If you're not going to do anything, please just stretch. You can do it in a chair. You can do it hanging on to the banister back here. You can do all kinds of stuff. I used to teach my clients in the chair that could not stand for long periods of time until they were capable of standing longer for longer periods of time. We would do the chair stretches for the back, the shoulders, the neck, everything. There's no excuse, no excuse at all. It's results, not excuses that, that people want. And that, that's what I want. So, but anyhow, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some of these channels and I'm friends with a couple of these people. And I see, and, and it's happened to me, and people are getting grief for what they do on their channels. Me, I'm selling mugs and stickers and soon t-shirts. It's my channel. It's what I choose to do. It's my store. It's, it's my part-time job to, to sell this stuff. If I want to do it, I'm going to do it. 
nothing in life is free. Me sitting here doing this for nothing is not free. It takes my time. It takes my time away from things. When I say nothing is for free, it's not just about the money. It's time. Time is money. So some of these people have been catching some crap from their subscribers or from people who are just lurkers that aren't subscribers and they just want to stir the pot. You know, um, listen, these creators are that they're creators. They're providing entertainment. They're providing information. They're providing valuable uh, things or else we wouldn't be watching them. There's a saying, a man's, way, a man's work is worth his wage. And I believe that. I support uh, channels that I get things from. If they have something on there and they ask for some support, I support them. Um, I give money to them. Because I get value from that channel. I get value from what they, they do. And... Uh, it's much appreciated by me. So it's just, it's what you get, you know. Don't be a hater. If you if you don't like it, just change the channel, you know. But don't be a hater. These, these creators are putting out some good stuff. Even these guys that have got hundreds of thousands of, I mean, how do you, they're making money on YouTube, with or without you. They're making money. Um... And it, they just put good stuff out there. So. That's it for my rant on that today. But I experienced true freedom this weekend. Uh, I'm a man that's been divorced. And I had to watch my kids from a distance. And I got them when I was allowed to have them because that's the way the court system works with divorced couples in this country. Uh, and I wasn't entitled to them any extra unless it was agreed upon about by both parties, which was hard to do. Um, I spent a lot of time working just to take care of their needs and also pay their... Well, let's just not go there. So... My kids are all grown up. And a big weight was lifted off my... Ch I felt like Superman. I felt like I pulled my shirt open and that S came out this weekend. There's a situation happened for one of my children. And I was asked not to come around and leave it alone and I'll take care of it. And I paced the floor. And I decided, nah. I'm going. And I went. And to the shock and much dismay of my ex, I was there. I established the fact that I am dad. The only dad in my children's lives. Whether they're adults or not, I am their father. I will take what is rightfully mine as their father. And no one, no one, not the courts, not my ex, no one will keep me from my children. See, there's a time for diplomacy. And for many years, I practiced that diplomacy. And I backed down a lot. And I let people walk all over me a lot. But see, over the past several months, I have learned to not be that guy. There's a lot of you that are fathers out there that are single fathers that are divorced that are watching me. And my advice to you is, you do whatever you have to do to spend time with your children, to be a part of their lives. I'm not saying break the law, but there's ways to get around the law. Get creative. 
What she learned this weekend is don't screw with John Williams. You'll regret the day you met me. I know some people might, might not like hearing what I just said. But I have been pushed out of my children's lives for a lot of things. See, folks, the backstory is over the past couple of months, I have learned about a lot of things that I was not included in on. Things that were my fatherly rights. Things that I should have been given the opportunity to do with my children. But was kept and hidden from me. Out of animosity. And vindictiveness. Not anymore. See, you can't push this guy around anymore. Because I won't put up with it. That men is what you need to do. Don't be afraid. Decide what price you're willing to pay to have more time and to be a part of your children's lives. Because sometimes you have to pay that price. When John walks into the room now, those who spewed hatred about me to my children as they were growing up, those who do not like me, shudder with fear because I'm no longer the guy that you can push around. And I'm not talking physical intimidation, but it helps. It helps. Sometimes you got to do that. If you try to hurt my wife or any one of my five children, just know this. Quoting Wyatt Earp, I'm coming and hell's coming with me. That's how I am now. This is my family. It is my God-given right and my God-given responsibility and my priority to love them, to lead them, and to protect them. Whether they are adults or they are little children. So my advice, fathers, if you are in a divorce situation and you are a single dad, you do what you need to do. You may say, I can't afford to fight in the courts. Do it. My regret is I didn't do it because I couldn't afford it. I could have found a way to afford it and I could have done it. There's always a way, but I was beaten down. I was just a young kid. I didn't know anything. It's just a young single dad. I didn't know anything. I only went by the advice of a supposed mature person, attorney. Your attorneys can give a lot of good advice, legal advice, ethical advice. You go with your gut. You go with your heart. You let them deal with the legal advice. Don't let them determine how you do with your children. That's the lesson for today with the morning coffee show. I hope you've enjoyed it. I need to get going. I need to get my day moving. I got to get to the post office. I've got other things I've got to deal with. Uh, thank you for being a subscriber to this channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers that have come on board. I appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to some uh, new things coming up. Getting in shape, losing the weight, feeling great, looking great. Not where I want to be, but I will be there. The beard's looking good. I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> You're going to see by the fall what a 50-year-old man with a long beard can look like when you discipline yourself to get in shape and work on your health. Have a good day, everybody. Drink your coffee. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.